Hey guys, it's me Ruben again, Calm Block Rifles. Um, today we're going to talk about, you know, this, basically. What it is, it's a, um, came, it all came off of a Yugoslavian M72 uh, kit. I had majority of the parts um, already, I just had to do a few things to it. Well, Yugoslavian Bulge Trunion, M72, M70, it's all the same stuff, um, you know. A M72 rear side block that I actually obtained from my good friend, uh, John, over at M13 Industries in Las Vegas. Um, good dude, check him out if you're, if you're in the area or if you feel like shipping your guns all the way to Vegas. Um, lower hand guards, M72. Gas block, M72, front sight base, M72. Now, it is machined to accommodate the bipod. However, that's actually on the actual uh, front sight base. So, unless you feel like welding and shaping and, and all that, it's going to look like that, you know. It's fine. I can live with that. And then your, you know, traditional Yugoslavian muzzle nut. So... Barrel was a 23 inch, uh, and you know, change whatever they are. I haven't, I can't remember top of my head right now. Yugoslavian original barrel, um, cut down to 16 inches to make it into a carbine. Now, I have a few of those already, so that's why I'm letting this one go. But I'm going to strip everything for you guys here and show you guys how to do it. Um, now I don't have the proper Robert Forbes tool. Um, I usually just use what I have and I will show you guys. Some guys may like it, some don't, but at the end of the day I get it done and I don't damage any parts. So, uh, to each their own. Um, that's the disclosure I'm going to put out there. Um, but, yeah, let's, uh, let's get started. All right, so give me one second. Let me, I'm going to turn the camera off real quick just to set up and then I'll turn it back on. All right, guys, I'm back. So I set it up. Basically, I got these two bucking bars from AK Builders. Their barrel press um, kit that they sell. It's like 100 bucks. So, um, <clears throat> so wait, when you're pushing out a barrel, it came with a brass, like a brass nut. Or, yeah, and um, that's long gone after like 50, 60 AK, it's, it's done. So I use pennies now. I use a stack of pennies um, because I was experimenting at first and I ended up damaging like two uh, barrels, crowns, not the crowns, but the chambers, I'm sorry. Um, and so, my rule of thumb now is uh, four or more. Um, I have here one, two, three, four, five. I have five. So, uh, now I got this tool from Harbor Freight. It's a, um, like a long socket extension, but, you know, again, they really don't make that many dedicated tools um, I just use what I have and it works um, speak to a lot of other guys and you'll see that you know they use a lot of stuff that they have laying around the garage so put that right about right up against there let me lift this press up this is again also Harbor Freight look at this <laughs> that was a gift Kind of hard doing it all on my own. All right, there you go. Should be able to start seeing this move right around there. And then 
also be seeing it move. Let's go this way, gliding. Look at this rear side block. And then, I don't know if you can kind of see. No, you probably can. Sorry for all these horrible camera angles. Now, also, I just remember disclosure right here. Whenever you're pressing out a barrel, always keep looking at everything. However, always keep this in mind because with, for example, these bucking bars that I have, you keep going down, you're thinking, oh, cool, I'm bringing the barrel out. You can smash this rear sight onto these bars that are made out of uh, steel and either crack it or bend this rear side uh, adjuster, right? And boom, you gotta buy a replacement part. So it's not like you can just go online and order one. You have to source one. Uh, it may take a day, it may take two, three days, so a week. So see, I'm getting close. So what I wanna do here I'll bring this back up and then what I do is I slightly move the bar and then readjust Boom, like that. I don't know if you can see that. This is ready to come out anyways, but I just wanted to show you guys. I usually put my foot down here to catch the barrel. So you heard that sound? And the barrel's out. So bring this up. Fuck me. All right, sorry. Bring it out. Boom. Trunnion's out. Take these uh, pennies out. Put them in the penny jar. Bring this out. No damage at all. Cool. So now I'm gonna go ahead and take rear side block off, gas block, and front side post. All right. Give me a second here.
All right, guys, back. I ended up using one of my um, my actual Forbes tool that I have. It has a little lip. I'll show you guys right now. That's helping me grab the hook where the bipod would go. Um, I just remembered that I use the bipod for leverage when I do this, and it's just it's been a long day already, and it's only eight thirty. So, all right, so I got it all set up. Let's try it now. Oh, fuck, it's moving. Let's do this. We're in business. Robert, you're a lifesaver. So see this lip, this is that lip I'm telling you about right there. So it's a good tool to have. Um, I use this for typically 8K ohms, but um, works out. So anyways, now what I need to do is go grab something to be able to fit here and push out so give me a second all right guys so i can't find my actual little round brass set that i have when pushing this out i'm like redoing my whole garage and office so um i'm just gonna be very careful i'm using a punch and i know it's just paper but we're not going to be using that much force anyways um so it shouldn't damage anything but here we go See here, it's coming out already. There's like no force at all. All right, so let's go ahead and inspect the parts. Give me a second. Doesn't look damaged. What about this back piece? Just some galling, but that was already there though, if I remember correctly. I don't know if you kind of see it. Right around there. Other than that, look inside. It looks. Just your typical galling on a Yugo. Let's look at the boar. That looks good. All right. So, throw this part down here. So here's my setup for the gas block right here. See, it's true up, straight. Putting one of the bars right underneath that clean rod, lug, whatever you want to call it, and then right under the gas block. I can't even think right now. <clears throat> so, let's give this a try. There you go. Just drive it home. Remember, go slow. So that the press does not jump. I mean, if you're building, you should have some time to go slow. That's my thing.
God, this lighting is horrible. It's like... Well, there you go. Let's see, pull my foot down here. So, gas blocks off. to go all right last piece right here I have it all jigged up hope it doesn't fall so there it goes Sight leaf is about to come off. Give me a second. Let me set it back up and we'll show you guys. I need to hold it, but I can't do hold the camera and boom, there it goes. the barrel and again I'm gonna clean it up Let's ship it off but so you strip the barrel I'll show sure you get some more stuff once um, I get more situated the camera's about to die anyways thanks for watching guys and um, yeah subscribe if you guys want to see some more stuff in the future thanks for everything you guys have a good one